Hi third graders, it's Mrs. Compton and today we're going to practice a choral count together. Now a choral count is when everybody counts together. So I want to make sure that we all count together and I want to remind you that you've probably counted by twos a million times, right? So we're going to remind ourselves what it is to count by twos. So it's already back here, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, so on and so on, right? So we've got groups of two over here. So you can see that's two, four, six, eight, ten, so on, right? Okay, now let's see what you notice if we do a choral count by four. So twos and fours are very closely related. Let's see if you can catch it. All right, you ready? Everybody have yourselves either on mute, what your teacher's saying, or off mute. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, ready, count. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, do you know what's coming next? 36, 40. Okay, let's stop and notice and wonder. So what do you notice and what do you wonder so far? So just take a break from counting and really look it over. What do you see? All right, what did you notice? Did you notice that we could group them over here as we are counting? I bet you probably did. So we could do a four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 20. How many groups of four make a 20? Let's find out. That's one group of four two groups of four, three groups of four, four groups of four, five groups of four. You can actually see that here. One, two, three, four, five, because this is 20 right there, right? Maybe some of you even connected in to over here with the count by twos. Did you guys notice that this one was a four first? And there's the four on that list, isn't there? Let's circle it. Let's see, I need a marker. Please hold. Got it, okay. So maybe you noticed that there's a four here and there's a four here. And maybe you noticed, okay, there's an eight here and there's an eight over here. Is the next one on the list? We've got a 12 here on our count by fours. Is a 12 on the twos? It surely is. What are you noticing here? Let's see, we've got four, eight, 12. Oh. There's the 16 and next up is the 20. Maybe you noticed that when you count by fours, you can use the count by twos to help you because it's just every other one. So four, skipping six, and then you get to eight, skipping 10, then you get to 12. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So twos can help you with fours. You may have even seen it over here in this picture because four of them are grouped and it's a two and a two and a two and a two is over there. Okay, there's so many things that you probably are noticing. Um, I'm gonna guess that you probably saw there's a pattern in the ones column and maybe you're suspecting there could be a pattern in the tens column too. So maybe you said, okay, there's a four here and a four here and an eight here and an eight here and a two and a two. Let's see if the pattern continues. Let's keep counting. All right, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Here we go. 40, four, 48. What comes next? This is always the tricky one. Kids always get stumped on this one. Did you get stumped? It is. 52, and then 
56. Ooh, what goes here? Did you just notice something else like I did? I just saw another pattern. Did you notice 20, 40? What's up next? Ooh, increasing by 20s as we go down. Okay, I need a new, new marker. You guys, I should just grab a whole bunch. Okay, marker save lives. All right, so we've got a 20. And we added 20 there. I bet you noticed that. And then added another 20. Does anyone know why that's happening? There's a reason. Does anyone know why? See if you can figure it out. All right, I've got a big question for you. I want to know, did the pattern continue? So we were looking to see if the pattern would continue. And did it? As you may have suspected, it did. Okay, so four, 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 eight, 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 two, 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 and so on, right? Now, is there a pattern in the tens place? Let's check it out. We've got a, a zero here. Two and four, zero, two and four, one, three and five, one, three and five, two, four, six. Ooh, maybe you are seeing a pattern there. Um, okay, I have one last big question for you. And here's my question What number, if I skipped all of these, what number would go right here? Could you figure that out? Let's see if you can get that. Okay, did you figure out what number goes there? Maybe you tried following my pattern, or maybe you even said, I bet somebody out there is gonna say this one. Tell me if I got it right in the comments, okay? So I bet somebody's gonna say, oh, you can just hop another line down, add 20, and 60 plus 20 is what, kids? 80. And then I bet somebody out there was like, well, this one is just going to be four less than 80. What's four less than 80? 79, 78, 76. Let's see. Is that what you guys were saying for the big question? 76. Now, did it follow the pattern you thought? We've got six, 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 one, three. Hmm, interesting. I bet you guys are seeing all kinds of other things. So tell your teachers because I'm sure she would love to hear all of your ideas and patterns that you see while counting by fours. Now, counting by fours is not only fun, it can actually help us solve problems. So I'm gonna move this over and we're gonna think about toy cars. Okay. So let's say we've got some toy cars. Now, you guys know about toy cars. I know you do because you play with them, right? Right? Right. Okay, so you know in a toy car, there are a certain number of wheels, right? And you can think about wheels on an actual car too. So there are four wheels on a car. So let's do this. Kira has six toy cars. Okay, got that in your head? She's got six toy cars, and each car has four wheels. Okay. What do you think my question will be? So Kiara has six toy cars. Each car has four wheels. My question to you is, how many wheels are there all together? How many wheels are there all together? With a big question mark at the end. Now, you really have to get that visual going in your head. You've got the six cars, each car has four tires, You've got a coral count here. You've got tools. You can even grab a whiteboard and a marker or a piece of paper and solve this problem. 
what will you do? All right, kids, I'll see you next time. Bye.